The Expo is a really great way to um, present our research. I think it's a good way for students to get together with faculty and graduate students as well um, and just really share what's going on at Northeastern. My research is dealing with the uh, bioremediation of vinyl chloride. So that's cleaning up pollution using bacteria. Well basically we are trying to convert plastic into clean power. Here we use all different kinds of plastic waste. Right now we're, this is a prototype right here. So this entire thing is self-sustaining. Like We put plastic in here, it vaporizes, goes, oxygen is introduced in the bottom, and the heat that is actually made from the combustion goes through a common plate right here and heats the top chamber which vaporizes. So this thing just goes on and just stays on. We are working on a training program for the young drivers to help them identify the potential hazards while driving. As you can see here, it shows that younger drivers tend to look at the critical areas less frequently than the experienced drivers. Critical areas are basically the areas where the potential hazards tend to manifest. The previous research over here shows that the, after the training, they are much better drivers. We broke up into different sections and basically researched different topics that would help us work with the children at an orphanage down in Quito, Ecuador. We got to try out techniques you know, that we've learned in school and really apply ourselves. And So it was really rewarding to be able to see these kids benefit from our skills. We developed a, a stroke rehabilitation glove system, um, basically so patients, they can take these gloves uh, in their home and replicate all the exercises that they're supposed to be doing, um, just so that they can get more repetitions and more therapy so that they can regain their strength faster. Each cube represents the hands. Uh, this is supposed to show that we can get the hand orientation as well as the bending in the fingers. So as you see, as she bends her fingers, the cubes uh, get bigger and smaller and as she rotates her hand, uh, the cubes rotate. The systems that are available today really only have one hand available. You can buy one glove at a time. Mm -hmm. And the physical therapy professor that we worked with, the PhD Maureen Holden, she stressed that the working both hands at the same time is really important so that you can gain um, not only your hand strength but also coordination between your hands. Our advisor, Martin, Professor Marvoides, is really excited about the potential of this product. Um, and he wants to see it in the market as soon as possible. Just the opportunity to show everyone the work that we've done, because we put a lot of work into it, is, is nice. It's the scope of the research that is being done, ranging from health to safety to sustainability to urban to cross-cultural to comparative. And I think this is really what ultimately we are all about.